Hello, hello. It's Thea with Gingham and Glue. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been, oh my gosh, it's been quite some time since I've um, uploaded a video. So I wanted to deeply apologize to each and every one of you. Um, it's been a really crazy, hectic, um, almost two months now. <laughs> Uh, we've had a lot going on personally. Um, I've been just kind of dealing, uh, still dealing with some of my health issues, which I'll, I'll explain a little bit because there's a light hopefully at the end of a very long tunnel. Um, and um, my, mo my mother's been having some health issues. So my sister and I have been kind of uh, trying to deal with that. And so it, yeah, it's just been, it's been crazy. So I had to kind of just take a step back and stop putting so much pressure on myself. I really was. I was just, I, I didn't lose my crafting mojo. Um, I've continued to work on uh, quite a few things off and on when I can. Um, but I, I really just needed to um, focus on some things here at home and, um, like I said before, uh, deal with my health issues and my mom's health issues. So, um, anyway, um, so I deeply, deeply apologize and thank you so, so much, um, for continuing to subscribe. Um, my goal for this upcoming new year, and let me tell you, I cannot wait for this year to be over. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> But this has probably been one of the worst years, not just for me, but for everyone, I'm sure. So, uh, um, anyway, but it it turns out uh, that I have what's called a labral tear, a partial labral tear in my right hip, um, which has caused a hip impingement. So that has been contributing greatly to my the pain I was already having from a previous surgery um, in April of 2019 that I had for um, what's called Tarlov cyst disease. And if you've, if you watched my, my very first introduction video, I, I explained a little bit about what that is. Um, but, it, and the, as far as the Tarlov um, cyst surgery went, um, that can actually, that can take uh, anywhere from two to four years sometimes, depending on the person, for you to completely heal from it because you're actually dealing with um, nerve endings that are, you know, healing and refiring. And um, and that doesn't include any um, permanent nerve damage that you've had um, or that's occurred due to the Tarlov cysts. And they're pretty sure that I have some, some damaged nerves. So, yeah. So it's been fun. Um, but anyway, the hip impingement has definitely been contributing to a lot of that. And fortunately, I was able to find a wonderful, wonderful new family doctor who um, is also a sports medicine doctor. And she was able to pinpoint exactly what was going on and then refer me to an orthopedic surgeon. And then he was able to confirm all of that with um, an MRI. So uh, I tell you what, it was just an absolute like... Oh, thank you, Lord. You know, finally, I was getting some answers. So, um, surgery is on the horizon. Um, hopefully, that should be within the next month. And fingers crossed. I'm actually praying it's a lot sooner, but, you know, we'll see. Um, so, that'll kind of offset me a little bit as far as making videos. I am going to try and record as many videos as I can up to that point. So maybe I've got some stuff pre-recorded for you guys um, once I'm in my recovery um, period. And that'll probably be about two weeks-ish, something about, some somewhere around there. So, um, but anyway, I hope everyone had wonderful holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, for us, it was, it was bittersweet, um, very quiet. It was just me and my husband and our youngest son. And... Um, yeah, we just didn't do a whole lot. We all just fedged out and kind of did our own thing for a little bit. And yeah, so, I mean, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. It was just, you know, it was hard not being with other family. But, you know, we're all in that boat right now, right? So anyway, um, I wanted to kind of, as you can see, as usual, my desk is a holy mess. <laughs> 
Um, but am I, oh God, I, I, I would be terrified to even turn the camera on to my entire office because you'd probably be totally horrified. But um, I did want to kind of share with you a few things that I've been working on. Um, and I'll kind of move this stuff out of the way because um, this is actually a project that, that I'd like to work on with you guys. Um, this was just kind of a um, a new creation for me. I don't, I don't know if it's been done before or not. It, it may or may not, but I'll, I'll get to that here in just a, just a minute. Um, I have been diligently working on several junk journals, one of which is a journal for a very good friend of mine. She's been a wonderful, wonderful friend to me, um, especially the last few months. And I really wanted to make, make her one. She loves cats. She has several. And so I thought I would make her a kitty junk journal. Um, and I was able to find uh, quite a bit of um, stuff on Etsy, you know, digi kits to use. Um, some from, um, oh my gosh, uh, My Porch Prints, um, Calico Collage, um, and there were a couple others, and I'll see if I can't find them and post them below. Um, but this ended up being um, three signatures and it's gonna be thick. <laughs> it's gonna be really thick. I've really just been kind of gently going through um, and and adding things. Uh, and I say gently because I don't wanna overstuff it completely for her. But um, I did do the outside cover with um, a thinner chipboard because that's what I had on hand and I doubled it. I glued it together and doubled it for both the front and back cover and the spine. Um, had this gorgeous Christmas tree skirt that I found at my local secondhand antique store uh, that would never have gone with any of my Christmas stuff, but I, I just absolutely loved the fabric. And I'm so glad I got it because it worked perfectly with this. And then on the inside, I had this gorgeous fabric that my mom gave me. Um, it's all these beautiful, almost daisy-like flowers. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're all lined with gold um, or, you know, outlined in gold. So they're just super pretty. So I used that for the inside and then just trimmed it all the way around with some lace. So this is... Um, the Lovable Kitties Digi Kit Collection by Calico Collage. It's super cute. Um, so I thought that was perfect. So I definitely wanted to kind of theme everything around that. And like I said, I've just been very gradually just going through and adding things. Um, I did add like a, um, I stacked uh, two envelopes together or glued them together and created, um, you know, kind of a, quadruple pocket almost, you know, pocket on the outside and of course the pockets on the inside. Um, I've done, of course, some, some pockets or tucks. I've done some bigger pockets um, to, to put things in. I made some envelopes with some templates that I had uh, purchased off of Etsy. Um, we've got some coin pouches and more envelopes. Um, yeah, just all kinds of really, really fun things. And <clears throat> I'm just so happy with how it's turning out. I can't wait. This is just a little opening and it's got the journaling cards in it. And so, yeah, so that's one of the ones I've been working on. I've also been very still, slowly. Um, it's almost finished and I'm, I'm hoping to finish it off with you guys. My sister's retro sci-fi junk journal. Um, I'm not going to open it because I don't want to do that until I actually um, finish the thing, finish it off. Like I said, hopefully with you guys on camera. And so that way, I, and when I know specifically when I'm going to do that and when I'm going to upload the video, I have to <laughs> tell my sister that she can't watch it because I've told her, yeah, you can't see anymore. I've given her plenty of, you know, little, you know, pictures here and there to kind of tease her with, but um, yeah, she hasn't seen all of it yet. So like, oops, sorry, I said I wasn't gonna open that, but it's turning out fantastic. I just love this thing, it's so cool. So um, yeah, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to finish that off with you guys. Um, I'm trying to think, I've, 
I did some, um, and of course did not get a chance to upload them to Etsy like I had planned, of course. Uh, but I did did work on several Christmas um, paper bag cover junk journals, and these turned out so cute. Um, I just love these. I wanted to do, I needed to use up my Christmas ephemera because I realized I had I have two buckets sitting on my desk full of Christmas stuff, one of which is all ephemera that I had made. And I wasn't even doing anything with it. So I was like, what are you doing? You need to use this stuff. So that's why I went ahead and did something like this because it's very, fairly quick to put together. And um, like I said, I didn't get it up in my Etsy shop soon enough, but if anyone is interested in purchasing one of these, um, just leave a comment below and I will um, I will email you with the um, with all the the stuff that you need to know. Um, but I essentially both both of these have I created pockets um, on both ends so you, and you've got plenty of journaling cards and fun you know, tucks and tags and just all kinds of really, really fun stuff to play with. I mean, it's just so fun. And I had created these awesome fabric, altered paper clip fabric um, clusters. Uh, and then I put little jingle bells on them and there are several uh, in here. So um, yeah, it was just, these were so much fun. Did a little glassine envelope. I decorated the outside of that. Um, on this one, I'm trying to see, got some more pockets and journaling cards. And these are, these just were so quick and fun to put together. Really, really fun. So, and this one we've got, and there's plenty of journaling space. There's another little one of those altered uh, paper clip, uh, fabric clusters, did a glassine envelope, um, got some more, like a little, another little altered uh, paper clip, really fun glassine envelope again, cute little paper clip, I love these things, they're so cute, so yeah, this, like I said, these were just really, really fun, quick and easy things to make, I did a a fabric flip and put some paper in between the fabric. Um, yeah, just lots and lots of really fun little places and things to to play with. So very, very happy. Um, like I said, if you're interested in going ahead and purchasing these anyway, just, uh, just comment below and I'll get with you. Um, otherwise, I'm going to hang on to them till next year and I'll have them up in my Etsy shop at that point. Um, there is a third one that I did not completely finish, um, and I'd like to get this one completely finished uh, before I consider selling it because it's it really. I mean, it's. I mean, someone may still really really like this one. Um, I. I mean, you could finish it off yourself if you wanted to. Another cute little. Oh, I just love these things. Um, yeah, there's just. They're super, super fun. So yeah, that was that. I did not get my pink Christmas junk journal done. Very sad about that, but I will have plenty of time between now and next Christmas to finish it. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it for me or if I'm gonna be putting it up for sale. So time will tell. Okay, so. What I have here, this is something I was working on for my friend's uh, kitty junk journal. And uh, my mom actually kind of helped me with these. Um, I had to go, uh, when she was having her um, health issues a couple weeks ago, we, I, I had to go up uh, and help take care of her. We, you know, we took as many precautions as we, as we possibly could, but um, she and my sister um, really did need me, need me up there. So I took a bunch of my, my junk journaling stuff with me. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, it's really dry <clears throat> in here right now. Um, so this is essentially, I did two different versions. 
these are essentially altered envelopes. And I took just a basic um, little envelope. Let me, these are, uh, these are Mead brand. Um, it's, they're three and five eighths inch by six and a half inches or 9.2 centimeters by 16.5 centimeters. Now you can do this with, with any size envelope, just, you know, depending on how big or small you want them to be for your junk journal. Um, I have never seen anything like this on YouTube. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So I'm not going to take total credit for this. Uh, but I'm very, I was really excited when I finished them because I thought they were so unique and cool. Um, like I said, this is the more simplistic version. Uh, so what I did was I took it and I just line, lined it with paper inside and out. <clears throat> now, the inside flap, this is going to get glued to a page. And I really wasn't thinking about that when I was doing these. I was just so focused on creating that I wasn't paying attention. So you really don't need anything on the inside flap. Um, and I ended up doing it to both of them, but it's it's okay. <laughs> it was extra paper. So, and then they're both, they're opposite directions. So depending on which direction you want it to go in your junk journal, if that makes sense. So in this one, this one is just very simple. You know, you've got your, your pocket in here. You could, you know, line this with lace or this with lace. Um, I didn't do that on this one. I did do it on, on this one. So on the outside, and this is the side that's going to be facing up towards you that you're going to, you're going to see. Um, I put kind of a waterfall paper, paper pad in here with just different, uh, kinds of paper, coffee stain, decorative coffee stained, a digi kit, scrap. Um, and then underneath is a hidden pocket, um, a, hor a horizontal pocket with a little journaling card. And I just um, stapled a piece of uh, muslin as the tag to it. So I thought that was super cool. And then what I did next is I went a bit farther. I'll flip this around. So I, I, and you can see I lined the, the inside or side with paper. You don't need to do that, but I did add lace. Um, and then also what I did was I used, instead of just one envelope, I used two. So I cut the flap off of this one. Um, and you'll, you see the cute little embellishment, a little envelope on the front and you know, it's lined with lace. I've got a journaling card in there and then you flip it open. So this envelope and this envelope, I used a piece of muslin to attach, to, to make a hinge. Now you could do this under the paper if you didn't want that to show, but it does not bother me at all. I think it's, I think it looks perfectly fine. So I left it like that. Um, again, lined everything with paper. I left a little bit of a margin, um, all around the edges and uh, I've got a pocket here and then of course your pocket there lined with lace and then when you flip it around you've got your waterfall type paper pad again and then you flip it up and you've got two pockets so you've got a little vertical pocket here and another little side pocket here with your journaling tag. Isn't that neat? I just love this. And this is, this here is a, um, is an envelope too. I, I just cut off the bottom of one of, one of these envelopes and used it for a pocket, uh, cause I have a ton of these envelopes that I want to use up. So isn't that fun? And then just embellished it. So yeah, so I'll show you what this is going to look like on a page real quick. Uh, let's do this. Okay. So <clears throat> we know that this is going to go like this. So when you flip open the page, you get this beautiful, you know, you don't just have an envelope flap. You have a beautiful lace trimmed envelope flap. So it makes a really neat little spot. Now you could just glue 
like one side down and then use this little part as a little tuck if you wanted to. Um, but I think it's, I think it just looks really pretty like that. So, and then of course you turn the page and you've got your, your paper pad and your, your pockets here. And then you flip it open and you've got a pocket here and you flip it open again. You've got a pocket and another pocket. Isn't that awesome? I just love it. I just absolutely love it. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to take total credit for this because there may be something like it um, that someone else has done. And I'd love to know if you guys know who, who it is uh, and let me know because I'd love to see what they, if, you know, what their version is. Um, and then of course, this is the opposite direction. So, you know, you've still got a really pretty envelope flap because it's lined in scrap of paper. Um, your little waterfall, ta uh, little tablet, and then your, your, your pocket here. So, and then you open it up and you've got your pocket there. I hope I'm in camera. So isn't that awesome? Ah, I was so excited about that. Okay. So, um, I'm going to try and make one of these and I'm going to make this version, the more complicated version, I think. Um, let me slide this out of the way. So I already pre-cut some of my uh, paper and I've already cut off the flap of one of my envelopes. <clears throat> now, again, it's totally up to you how much you want to line it with paper or embellish it. Or I, I left a margin on most of the paper that I lined it with. Um, and you can still see some of the pattern from the inside of the envelope, but that does not bother me at all because it all got inked and I think it looks really nice as is. So yeah, I think it, I think it looks totally fine. But again, that's up to you. And I'm sure you can find, you have, have or can find envelopes that don't have the pattern on the inside <clears throat> if you'd much rather do that. So, okay. So my brain works kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> and I was, I don't know why, I, maybe I was just really, really tired. I don't know. But I could not figure out how to do the outside shape. Um, you know, because you've essentially got a one piece of paper. Well, of course, my mother sitting next to me. <laughs> at the time was like, um, Thea, just slide it in. So pretend this is a, here, we'll do this. This is a whole piece of, I've, I've traced the outside of the envelope onto my scrap of paper and then uh, cut it out and then I trimmed it down to the margins, you know, the width of the margins that I wanted. <clears throat> so, and I'm sure you all know this, but I'll let you know anyway. You just take that piece of paper that you're going to be using to line this and you just slide it in inside and you just trace it, pull it out and cut it out. Ugh, I don't know why that was so difficult, but it was because like I said, my brain does not work. Um, okay, so with this one, you have, you'll see I have... I have the margins on the on the sides and the bottom, but not here at the top. Now, I was able to do that. I was able to get a margin for this one. Um, and essentially what I did was I just went in with my scissors, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and just very carefully went down and I cut, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut just a little bit. I'm not seeing so well right now. I apologize. Um, I probably totally just messed this one up, but we can always fix it. So you're gonna, like I said, you just want to very carefully Cut, cut that margin out. So I'll flip this around again and I'll just trim down to that spot. Okay. 
So let's see how well I did. Okay, so I've got, I've got it okay on this side, not on this side. So <clears throat> I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna come down again to that point. Just cut off just a smidge. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little, uh, it's a little off. I'm gonna grab my X-Acto knife, maybe try and make this a little easier on myself. Good grief. If you guys know of an easier way, please let me know because, yeah, you don't have to have that margin. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just got lucky the first time. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but, you know, let's see. Let's see how well I did here. Okay, not too bad. I've got a little bit more of a margin over here on the side. No, I slid it over. Okay, so that's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Okay, so I got lucky. I got really lucky with that one. Um, okay, so yes, that is going to go like that. And then I'm going to have this one on the outside and I've already cut my uh, margin on that one. I've got the outside flap and I do need, I need to work on the margin a little bit on this one. So I'm going to try, try, try to do this by hand. I am absolutely rubbish at cutting corners. Um, corners, circles, you name it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I just, yeah, I, I don't have a whole lot of, okay, well, that, I think that, that works. That works, okay. So we've got that. And now we need to do the inside. Okay, so obviously I haven't cut the margin on this one. Um, so it's not going to fit in. Uh, when you trace it with your pencil, make sure your pencil or tra your trace your shape onto your scrapbook paper. Um, be sure that you make sure that your pencil is super sharp because uh, that'll, that'll make it a lot closer to the actual dimensions. Um, but you can always go back like I'm gonna do now and I'm gonna trim maybe about a quarter of an inch off one side and about a quarter of an inch off the long side. So you don't have to do, excuse me, all four, four sides. You only need to do one each. Okay, so let's see. Obviously, the inside does not need margins. It just needs to fit in there. Um, and I'm pretty close, although I did leave a, a margin where that line is, where the flap folds over. I did leave a, a little bit of a margin. So that end ne definitely needs to be trimmed again. Okay, so we'll go ahead if I can get it out of the envelope. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that again. Okay, just about an eighth of an inch, maybe. Quarter to an eighth. Let's see how I did. Okay, that's pretty good. I've got a little bit of a little bit of space there. Um, and you do not need, you do not, don't do as I say, not as I do. You do not need to put a piece of paper on the inside of the flap because that is going to be glued down to the uh, page. Um, now you can, you can still line this 
if you want to with lace. Uh, that way you've got the lace popping out because this part is going to have paper on it. So you've got that beautiful lace popping out like we do with this one. So that will lay right like that on the page and look so pretty. So, okay, so I'm gonna move that. So we'll go ahead and I'm, I think what I'm gonna do, now this is a thicker scrapbook paper. Um, I did not do thicker scrapbook paper on these. It was just um, photocopy paper thickness. Um, so I didn't want to bulk it up any more than I needed to, but I figured I'd try the thicker scrapbook paper on these and see if, if it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, and if it is too bulky, then I'll know better next time. So I think what I will do, let's start with, instead of the inside, let's start with the outside. So I'm going to... Do this. Okay. So even though I'm going to ink, I'm going to ink all around the edges um, before I glue this down, I'm also going to ink this. And that's just personal preference. You do not have to do that. You'd rather just get it glued down and then ink all the way around. Um, that's, I mean, that's totally up to you. So these can be mass made. Um, obviously they're gonna take a little more time than your average, you know, either folded book page or scrapbook paper, or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, there's a little more detail to them. And you could always just do this, you know, the simpler version of this if you wanted to cut, cut the time down. Um, but, you know, it's up to you. It's, it's, Totally, totally up to you. Okay, so I've got that ink. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ink the envelope all around the edges. And I can always go back over some spots if I need to once I get the scrap of paper down. Oh, and I finally, I'm still hanging on to this one because it still has some juice left, <laughs> ink left, um, but I did switch to a new one. I thought it was probably time, so yeah, that one lasted me quite a while, I'll tell you. All right, let me make sure my, my glue bottle is unstopped, not clogged, which I am famous for. Oops. Yeah, this was just a really fun, fun project. And my mom, my mom really helped me with this. She was, um, I was asking her opinion and get some ideas from her. And um, I think it was her idea to put the, attach the second envelope to it, um, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. And uh I thought, oh my gosh, that's brilliant, Mom. And then put, you know, the secret little little pocket underneath the, the paper pad, which I thought was so cute. So, so cute. All right. Get my bone folder here. Just make sure it's... Completely glue down. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's super pretty. So now I'm gonna do the flap. Uh, so before before we do that, I'll now I've got the ink out, I'm just gonna go ahead and ink all the way around. It's a little thinner, so I have to, you know, just kind of 
work with it a little bit. So I hope you all are ready for the new year as much as I am, like I said, oh my gosh. I'm so ready for it to be over. I know our troubles will still be there, but <laughs> you know, just kind of gives one a little more hope and optimism, I think. Okay, so let's see. Let me just make sure um, that I like that. And I do, but you know what? I think I'm going to, and I'm going to use my paper my tr paper trimmer for this so I get it semi-straight. I'm going to take just a sliver off of that edge. Hopefully. Ah, no. As long as I don't move it. Okay. I can't, no, I didn't get it far enough over. Okay. Maybe I might be doing it by hand. Hang on just a second. Ah, stay. Okay. That looks a little bit better. All right, let's look at this. See, let's see. Okay, yes, that's much, much better. All right. So I'll go ahead and ink this. Ah. So, um, Let's see, what did I get for Christmas this year? Not a whole lot, um, but what I did get was pretty awesome. My husband, oh gosh, he's like, seriously, he's the best. Um, my, my absolute, absolute favorite group is for King and Country. Um, I just absolutely love them. Uh, they were here locally and they were doing, they've been doing a drive-in movie theater Christmas concert tour. And so they were fair, they were like 45 minutes up the road from us going to be in town at the drive-in movie theater, uh, back in November, October, maybe it was October. Uh, and we, we just, we couldn't go. Um, we just couldn't go and I was so bummed. Well, then I happened, I went onto their website to see, you know, if they had been planning, um, any concerts for next year and they are, uh, they are going to be about an hour and a half away from me, uh, but fairly close to where my sister lives next July. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, you know, I just, I would give anything to go, but, um, you know, I thought, oh, there's just probably not going to be able to or, you know, afford it or anything like that. And uh, my husband surprised me and said, go ahead and order your tickets. So I got tickets to see for King and Country. I am so excited. And I'm taking my sister with me. I, I'm telling you guys, that's all probably all you're going to hear about for <laughs> at least two or three weeks prior to the concert. I am so excited. I can hardly stand it. Um, so yes, I got that. And um, a little <laughs> something you don't know about me. Um, I'm not an avid, avid gamer, but I am a gamer. Uh, I absolutely love the Assassin's Creed video games. Um, yes, I am 46 years old and I love video games. <laughs> I'm a big kid at heart. So, you know, um, that and the Tomb Raider games, uh, I kind of cut my video game teeth on the original Tomb Raider when it came out. Um, I think right when we were first married, uh, or maybe a little before that, I can't remember, but, um, yeah, I've, but I've loved the Assassin's Creed video games since the moment they came out. Don't ask me why. Probably because I'm a total history nut and and I love I love all that stuff. So um the new one is out. 
their uh, it's the um, Viking their Viking one which is amazing in and of itself and so my husband surprised me and and bought me the game which he kind of bought it for him too but <laughs> you know I didn't I didn't think I was gonna get it at all um so that was kind of cool so yeah I got that so I got the two things that I really wanted for Christmas um there is there was one other thing it has it's a it's a personal thing that I won't get into but um that one I did not get but you know that's okay that's okay but yeah so that was pretty fun and uh we just got my my youngest son um some $50 gift cards, one for school uh, and one for, you know, whatever it was, is that he <clears throat> wants to use it for. So um, we were, we, we figured that's probably what he would have wanted anyway. And, and it was, so yeah, he was pretty happy with that. So yeah, it's fun, fun, but I'm telling you guys, um, you're, that's all you're going to hear for probably two or three weeks prior to that concert is guess where I'm going in a couple weeks. <laughs> oh, I know I'm a mess. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to ink this really well all along the edges. I'm going to do this edge too. And gonna make sure that that's in there pretty good and then I'm gonna get these edges I may put some glue under those little spots that are just you know very gently coming up putting the lid on that but I still need it so okay all right I think, I think we're good on that okay so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna glue you know what? Nope, we're gonna do the inside first. Yeah, we're gonna do the inside first. So what I wanna do, let me make sure, yep, okay. We're good with the inking. So all I need to do is just ink this top edge. Okay. Yeah, this scrap of paper is probably more cardstock thickness like a light card stock, I would say. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna slide this in like this, and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue the inside. I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm just gonna make sure and try and get, oop, that may already be stuck. Oh, good Lord. Did I get it? Okay, there we go. Um, you know, just try and make sure I've got the edge, that top edge really good. I'm just gonna put some, just a little ways down. Like I said, you don't, you don't have to go all the way down, but that should be good enough. And then just glue, okay? All right, so that's that. Okay, and then we'll do this one. will work or hands will work again 
just you know making sure we've got the edges pretty good and just need to twist it just a little bit It's not perfect on every single side, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. You know, these are handmade by us. There are going to be flaws. Let me just ink that just a smidge. Okay, again, we're not putting anything on the inside flap. Okay, so we've got our front and our back. So that's all, all together. Okay, now we get to attach, whoops, we get to attach the other envelope. So, like I said before, you can, if it really bothers you, you can wait to put your paper down until you hinge these. Um, that's entirely up to you, but I kind of like the muslin showing, so that is what I'm going to use if I can find it. Strip of it, hopefully. I know I have it. Here we go. <clears throat> so I'll definitely have to cut this down, but I've got some strips of it that I had already cut a while back. So what we're going to do is. Hang on a second, let me, I did, okay. So I put the paper on this first before I put the muslin down, okay. So I'm, but now that I've got it out, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it, which is right about there. And then I only need a very, very thin strip of it. So, I mean, we're talking like really thin. So like there. Hopefully this, this will work. If not, I'll, I'll cut another one. Yep, that's pretty thin. Okay, so let's try another one. That was a little too thin. So I'm gonna go like, let's go there. Oh yeah, much better. Okay. So that's only about a half inch. Yeah, that's about a half inch. So. Well, half to three quarters of an inch, we'll say. All right, so I'll leave that there. Let's go ahead and decorate this one. Now, I did not do the outline uh, of the outside yet for this. So we can go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. I may have to re-glue that. Uh, what did I want? So this is going to be, let's do the, the matching blue. Yeah, let's do the matching. We'll do the blue for, for this. I'll do this for the inside piece, and then we'll do this for the outside piece, okay? So, again, I'm gonna have to trim this down because it's probably not gonna fit. Nope, okay. So let's trim this down. How are we doing on time, guys? Mm, oh, we are almost there, okay. Well, this might either run a little over or I'll have to do a part two. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking probably a part two at this point. 
So let me. Let's let's cut this side first and then put it in and go from there. How far down we need to come? Uh, about a quarter of an inch. Okay. bad so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this around okay flip it around and then I'm gonna just trace the shape Doesn't have to be perfect. So what I'm gonna do, because again, I wanna try and do that margin. So I'm gonna follow the shape with my scissors, but I'm gonna cut just a little farther in from that line. And that should, hopefully, I say that now, help with that margin. Okay. Let's see how well I did. Almost. that pencil mark there Might give us a little bit more of an idea of where we're where we're at um, still not too bad but it's seems to be a little more off center Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, I need to do this. Okay, so if I come in like that, come down like that. I think we need to take some off the bottom. And if you guys can know of an easier way, like I said before, please let me know. Because <laughs> I don't, I do not know. My brain does not work like that. So I think I kind of lucked out with the other one. Okay, yeah, that's what I needed to do. I just needed to take some off the bottom. So that'll work. That will work. Okay, so we've got this one uh this is going to be the inside so i need to trim this down on two sides the long and short side or a long and short side Ooh, come on Barely. That's got to come off some more on the side. I'm going to just use my scissors. Okay. 
There we go. That's much better. And we've got a margin. Perfect. Okay, and then the outside, again, we just need to trim it up a little bit. that is all I need and yeah, it's pretty pretty tight margin so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it off just a little bit more okay that should be good yep Perfect. Okay, so before we do anything, let's go ahead and ink the whole outside of the envelope. like I am I'm gonna go ahead and um, make a part two of, of this where we do the pockets and the tucks and the paper pads and all the other fun super fun stuff because that may take a little bit not as you know not as crazy as as this you know as getting everything lined and and finished and you know cut properly and all that other good stuff so definitely not as difficult you guys I um, started watching is it Bridgerton on Netflix okay first off definitely not for kids <laughs> heads up um, it's a little naughty <laughs> uh, well a lot naughty but funny very well done really 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 like it why did I put those away I don't know um I've only started the first episode and I already really really like it um so yeah I started that I've just been watching just been watching a lot of YouTube still really kind of trying to uh watch a lot more videos on mixed media projects I used to do a lot of mixed media partially because I did um art journals um, I've done quite a, f quite a few art journals, actually my own art journals, not, you know, none for sale or anything. Um, but I love mixed media and I always forget how much I love mixed media. Um, I think part of me is, just, it's, I know this is going to sound really bizarre because I have so much stuff for my junk journaling everywhere. Um, mixed media it, I just, I get really lazy about it because I don't want to put everything away <laughs> when I'm done. It's not awful. Um, I think there's more cleanup with mixed media. And so I just don't do it as often anymore. I know that sounds horrible, but you know, it is. It's a lot of, it's a lot of cleanup. Um, but like I said, I do love it. Uh, I also love um, watercolor painting and acrylic painting. I've done a lot of both of those. Um, I'll have to show some of my, maybe show some of my 
uh, pieces that I've done in the past. And I really would like to get back to some of that, trying to incorporate more of it into my junk journals because I think it would be a really, really cool um, element for that. So, okay, so what are we at? Oh, we are right at an hour. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side. We are going to make, oh, I don't need that. Um, I'm going to make a, a part two. And so part two will be tomorrow because it's actually kind of late um, here and I need to, I probably need to head to bed <laughs> before too long. Uh, and part two will be getting these glued on, uh, attaching the other envelope or, or attaching both envelopes together with our piece of uh, muslin or fabric or whatever it is you want to use and then embellishing because uh, we definitely need to put our little paper pad or waterfall paper pad on and we need to put our pockets on um, on the inside and out and then trim it up with uh, some lace and you know all the really fun stuff so I am going to save all of this for tomorrow and make another video then thank you so so much for sticking with me guys I so appreciate you and uh, I yeah I, I love this community everyone is just so amazing and helpful and you know always willing to help you out whenever you need it so thank you everyone um okay well I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening, day, wherever you are, and um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.